think I'm going to reach a monk enlightenment where they fucking yeah. turn into a rainbow and shit. But, I don't think I'm doing that in my <laughs> life, but yeah. But if I can reach as close as I can get, you know, to what I think is perfect, then I'll have reached my goal. I tried to talk about that concept to some of my coworkers, mm-hmm. and they were like, uh, well, what is, they were basically like, like, would that even feel good? Would you enjoy it? Like, it's more than that, though, right? It is. It's more than that. It's beyond feeling. And it's, it's beyond consciousness. Possibly. You're just joining some sort of, like, universal, like... Becoming yourself again, I believe. I think energy. you get, hopefully, get to remember your past lives. You indulge in everything that you've indulged. Just like people say, your life flashes before your eyes. What if it's like that, but more extreme? your lives flash before your eyes and you experience everything that you've experienced and you're like one with the force it's like star wars yoda and obi-wan and qui-gon they all had to reach a certain kind of training and go beyond the basic kind of jedi training to get their personality to stick with them beyond death otherwise you just return to the force but yoda and them they were actually able to come back as themselves after death because they reach a certain kind of enlightenment basically and they let go of their their egos and all that shit so it's very metaphysical. That's why it's bullshit that <coughs> Anakin was a ghost at the end. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> you didn't go through that training, I don't God damn it. I don't understand it, but <laughs> I know he's frustrated. <laughs> uh, should we smoke this now? It's How much is it for you? For me? Yeah. Like price? Yeah. Like $7. Okay, I'll buy another one. My grandpapa. <coughs> It's the town. I just wanted to smoke him out. You pop up one of these. Yeah, bro. I seriously haven't seen him since I was 19, and I'm fucking 30. Is he on your dad's side? or? Yeah, he's the Danish dude. I'm excited to see him. He's going to give me a bunch of his Vietnam shit and stuff, and hopefully I'll find nice. out more about that stuff, because I remember seeing pictures as a kid of him and his squad, but I never, he never talked about Vietnam or anything like that or being in the military. Are you going to show him the podcast? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's pretty old school, dude. Like, he's chill as fuck, but he's so deaf and shit. Like, I don't think he'll be able to hear it or understand what's going on. And he's pretty young, but deaf. He's 72, but he worked in a factory for a good 30 plus years and fucking he's deaf as fuck now. He likes the weed, though? Yeah, I've been smoking at least 47 years. You could show him the uh, stash box, though, right? I suppose. If you wanted, <laughs> yeah. I mean... No, I might, who knows? Be like, hey, Grandpa, I'm not really famous. <laughs> this is going nowhere, but this is me. Because, like, I love our podcast, bro, but we're still no Mr. Ballin or Seth Rogen. <laughs> Seth Rogen, <laughs> Joe Rogan. Yeah. Seth Rogen's not a podcaster or no. famous. <laughs> He's kind of falling off, <laughs> yeah. I guess. That's okay, though. Pineapple Express was a long time ago. <laughs> He's like what the white people, the white Republicans think of a weed smoker. <laughs> Possibly. It's what we think of as a millennial, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still love it, too, man. I There's something about just talking into the ether. Yeah, I'll say I don't give a shit if you guys listen or not. <laughs> I don't either. Because <laughs> I think it's still getting picked up. I could not believe how wonderful that Ancient Apocalypse show was because I think Graham Hancock, bro, is almost like he's talking about same shit we're talking about, but he's actually going and fucking getting to see this shit in person, mm-hmm. like the megalips and shit. I'm happy for him. Yeah, he did it just right to get onto Netflix because you know they're particular with that shit, but he tiptoed around yeah. shit just right, but he's also, I think, going to open a lot of minds. Have you ever uh, read any of his books? No, actually, I haven't. I just watched his, like... I have uh, his most recent one. Oh, if you yeah. ever want to check it out. You said that. I it's would. got a lot of very nice pictures. Like, if you don't want to read anything, <laughs> there's still a lot of cool pictures. <laughs> I like reading a lot, so... Give it a gander, yeah, man, whenever I'll let you borrow. But he, like, explains that, like, there's, like, micro-diamonds made by cataclysmic impacts that prove that there was some sort of impact 13,000 years ago. I think so, too. Related to the flood. 
because yeah he talks about that a lot too and it's also to do with the soil i've heard about this before but that black line that you eventually reach once you go a certain you know depth into the soil they say that line is from you know when the whole earth was covered in ash basically about thirteen thousand years ago mm -hmm. so i think we did get hit by something as well which goes along with the whole spirit science thing bro think about it when atlantis got hit by the shit from the sky when the martians were making the merkaba and all that shit they said they got hit and the other crazy thing is on this ancient apocalypse show they show that only eight the ten thousand years ago there was actually a land mass right off of uh, florida's coast where the bermuda triangle is and also in that area the bimini road i don't know if you've heard about that there's the bimini islands right off of florida and there's a road that basically connects Florida to the Bimini Islands underwater. And I think that's a thing, bro. I think Atlantis was possibly there. And that was a connection. Like, they did have, like, a big land bridge or something to America, that area at least. And Bimini Islands are just remnants, possibly, of Atlantis and stuff. And just like Spirit Science says, it's exactly kind of where they said it was and where mm -hmm. the comets and stuff hit Atlantis is kind of where. And Hawaii is connected to it, too. To Lemuria? No, oh. not that. <laughs> but like sunken islands. Yeah. Like Hawaii. It was part of the Lemurian island. Or there was more than just what's on surface Dude, now. Same with Fiji Islands and all that. The Polynesians. Yeah, look at it. If I, I felt like I've shown you a map, and I've even put a map of it on my podcast about Mew and Lemuria. It's and that whole like Ring of Fire area. Yes. Exactly. There used to be more landmass. There was one huge landmass there, and that, like I said, that's what Colonel Church Ward, or whatever his name was, back in the 1800s even, he wrote that whole book, and he drew out a map exactly connecting all the islands, Easter Island and all that shit, were all one landmass, and then the Ring of Fire happened, and it sunk it, because they had a whole, basically, tunnel system that made their island kind of floating, and once that tunnel system filled up with lava instead of water, it sunk it down. And now you just have tropical islands that have the remnants of, like, the volcanoes and shit. And that's how you have the Fiji Islands, where they were cannibals. I know I've talked about that, too, because they started over. They had nothing on those islands after that landmass sunk, so they started eating each other and shit. They'd forgotten their knowledge. Yep. <coughs> savagery comes from civilization. Civilization does not come from savagery. Did you make that up? Who said that? Colonel Church word. <laughs> that was one it of makes his sense. first lines in the, his book, Lost Continent of Mew. I've been kind of rereading it again. It's very interesting. He makes so many solid points of how Lemuria is connected to all the shit the Mayans were doing and ancient civilizations in Mexico that no one's ever talking about. And there's all those other tribes that like, either popped out out of nowhere, allegedly, or... Or, like, they disappeared, allegedly. Anasazi and all of them. And like the Dogon. Uh, Aztecs, oh. Dogon just appeared. Oh, appeared. I thought you meant the civilization I mean that both. disappeared. Oh, I mean for both. sure. Yeah. Uh, the Olmecs, they disappeared. Yeah, it's, I've always wanted to know more about them. And they looked very, like, African. Yeah, round heads and shit. They didn't, yeah. <laughs> Unlike the other kind of heads we have. <laughs> no, they just had oddly, like, oh, they did not look South American. No, they didn't. I thought almost Asian, but. Oval eyes. Oh, yeah, there's even that one statue. It's kind of all fucked up because of the big gun battle or whatever in South America that was older than all of those, and it depicted, like, a white person's face in a time that there definitely shouldn't have been white people down Jesus? there. Jesus? No, it was before, way before oh. Jesus. It was pre-flood. It was very, very ancient. Oh, a piece of stone. Piece of God. <laughs> We're all pieces of God. <laughs> Fuck, bro. This is a slow burn. It is, man. Fuck me up. Yeah, I actually might look at my phone because I think there's more shit. Like I said, I really want to talk a lot about the pre-flood civilization shit. There's just so much to it. Oh, damn, we're on 40 minutes already. Yeah, there was some other stuff I had, too. Right on. I just pulled it up on Reddit. Almost, we just done a fucking...